Hi everyone, it's Leanne from Revo Creations and I am doing a small ephemera for a little golden book for a little four year old girl. I just finished the last one and I'll show you. Um, here it is, it's all finished. Let me just turn it around for you. So I took two signatures and all that puffiness that comes out of it. So it's really um, finished. Uh, we put those pockets in, don't forget. I'll just give you a quick couple of pages to show you what I've done. Now it is a journal and it's for a young girl, a 12 year old girl shabby chic fashion many tags are in it uh, I've got some of these envelopes that I made photographs of children um, some beautiful fabric pockets in the corner plenty of roses, shabby chic, plenty of tags so postcards I made little pocket I made all these tags I made. So I had a really good time making all that ephemera and all those um, different uh, pockets and things like that. And the fabric I used on the corners, corner pockets, and um, I've left all the hairs on it. And as you can see, it's very, what's the word? hairy, <laughs> hairy or just looks quite pretty actually. So I'm happy to finish that. Now that's going to a 12 year old, sorry, 12 year old, yep. So that's another journal I finished. That's the third one I finished and have given away to a birthday present. Now the next one I do will be a little golden book for a four year old um, journal. And I started just, I don't know what I was doing, but I was using some um, paper, some um, book pages, and bits and pieces I've got left over all over my you know, table, this sort of thing and that, from book pages I've ripped. And uh, I've got these left over I'm going to use as well. Um, and I've cut out some animals, I think that's a flamingo, I think, that, these are from the graphics fairy, I think that's a warris, I think that's a wolf, oh, spiny, spiny echidna or anteater, not sure what that one is, oh, everyone knows what that is, everyone knows what that is, and then we've got another elephant, so, I've got a few things there that I might incorporate in some bookmarks. Now, um, I've also got this cat. Isn't it gorgeous? It's a Cheshire cat. Anyway, so what I did was I got some paper, some book paper. I um, cut this three inches. I'm not sure what the length is. It was just the length of the book itself when I tore out the pages so it's that length whatever it is um, I don't think it's necessary it's whatever size you've got uh, this was an off cut so I have sewn around that right around the edge yeah we zigzag I've given it a stamp I've given it some color and I've given it a label and I've also edged it as you can see top and bottom and around the sides with orange paint, acrylic paint. I've just done some dots on this side. Um, I've left the hairs on or the little threads. I like to call them hairs because they're very hairy. <laughs> so that's all I've done. I think that's about four thicknesses. Uh, of, of uh, book paper um, 
and I think that that would make a good bookmark. Now this one here is a little bit different, it's on cardstock and I have put some background paperings from the books and this piece here. Put a bit of blue paint to it, I think that's a spiny anteater, I think. And all I've done is edged it as well with the blue right around the edges. Um, and I thought that would make a good bookmark because of the animal and a bit of the paint. So I was up to this one with the Cheshire Cat. And I was thinking this may be four thicknesses. Let me just see because I've got some of it glued down. One, two, three. Or five, I've got five thicknesses because this is a very thin book, very fine pages. So um, remember, I've cut it three inches. So I've got the Cheshire Cat, and I am going to put it on there. But I'm not sure where I'm going to put it yet. probably down the bottom or maybe in the middle. I am going to machine sew it right round and I'm going to use a bit of paint on it. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me figure out what I'm going to do first. I think I'll give it a background of some colour. Um, I'm going to get my brush my water. I've still got some orange there but I'm not going to use that. I want to use you know, what would go well with the cat. Maybe a blue. Different blue to the other one. Whoops, put too much in but that's okay. No props. Okay. So let's get down to it. I'm going to take a bit of cross and a bit of water. Because I really don't want it that thick. Okay, so we're just going to give it some background. There we go, and that's all I'm going to do to it. I'm not going to be too fancy about it. I may give it some dots. I don't know what the dots do, but I like them. <laughs> so I'm going to do them. Okay, I like it. Okay, that'll do. Still got our orange one. Okay, I'll just move that away temporarily. Okay, I'm just going to get the blow away and dry it off. Okay. We'll just see it's virtually dry. Okay. Right, I'm going to put them there and I am going to move my sewing machine up. Turn it on. See how we go here. That's going to be a little hard for you to see, but we'll get there. 
I'm using a what's the stitch called? I can't see my dots, so I'll have to put some new ones in. I'm going to use a zigzag. And I'm going to start with the cap first. And I'm going to zigzag right around the edge of it. Okay, I think that's that's fine. Let me see. Right, so that's what it looks like. Now I'm just going to machine sew it right around the edge. So I'm going to start probably halfway. About last okay and we're just going to finish it off Okay, that's it. Oops, what happened there? That's all right. I'll go over it again. No big deal. Okay. So, what we'll do this will come a little bit in there. Just cut off the pieces of hair that we've got and show you what we've got so far. And that's what we've got. So it's machine sewed very nicely. Right, and I'm just trying to get this away from the camera camera's moving a little bit. There we go. Right, now.
Oops, my water is getting yucky. It's okay. Okay. Now I'm just going to edge it. So all I'm going to do is use my paintbrush. And I'm going to give it an edge. Okay, so I think that's really good. Okay. Alright, so we've done that. Now my dots. Just going to get my paintbrush. No, just going to get my... did have ones here, didn't it, on the side. So I'm going to use that as well. Oh, my hands, I need a bit white. And they're outside. <laughs> okay, so that is pretty wet. Okay, that's another one we've done. I'm going to just check the thread, see if it's alright. And I'm going to chop that one off. Because it's from the old cotton that I went over. And there we go, there's another little, um, what do you call it, bookmark. So we've got Cheshire Cat, we've got a beautiful butterfly on that one, and we've got a spiny anteater on that one. So I'm going to do one more because I have all these animals that I might want to incorporate. incorporate. So I'm going to leave that up there to dry with the rest of them. Right, let's get some more paper down and we used five, didn't we? Two, three, four, five. Let's get our glue stick. Oops, not much left on our glue stick. one two three And I think we ran out of blue stick, so I'm going to throw that away. Five. 
It doesn't have to be perfectly lined up because I machine so right on the edge and it covers all that up. Through that, so it'll be okay. So there we go. Okay, let's see what sort of animal we want to put on it. Something that'll fit, something that's really good for a child to see. Got an elephant, which I love. Ugh, monkey. I do love this giraffe. Might have to go with that giraffe because <laughs> I love it. Uh, we can make more, some more. Um, some more bookmarks. Um, I've got four. I really want about six. So that's alright. It's okay. Now let's see. Now that's more of a turquoise colour. Let's get a little teal. I want to get a little bit of teal there. There we go. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to round off the corners as well. A beautiful giraffe. I'm going to dry that because I'll need it shortly. Please come off a bit. So we'll put some more on it. Okay, seems to be going all right. Now we want to glue this down, so I am going to use a glue stick. I don't want the um, glue too wet. So I'll do that. I'm going to put it right there. Now we can machine so this and then I'm going to put some more dots on it. So I'm going to move them. Let's get a machine. So we are going to go around the giraffe first. Right. 
turn it around. Okay. His out. Okay. Scissors. Here we go. Right. Right, we've done that. Now we're going to go right round. But before I do that, I am going to round off these corners. I know you can't see that on camera, but I'll only be a second. I'm just going to round off all these corners. One more. There we go. Okay, so now we can round them off. And we can start about there. see it camera a tiny bit and my sewing machine is still in the way. There we go. Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got our ears. Now these ones here can be cut. They're a little bit too long still. There we go. And we've done it. There's our bookmark given it a bit of a colour in the background, round the corners off, done some zigzag around the giraffe itself. And there it is. So that was a really, really simple project and um, I'm happy about them. Um, what was that one? That was the very first one I did as a prototype. And I'm still going to use it because I like it. Now, the only other thing I wanted to do was to do some dots. Oh dear. It's a bit of a mess. Okay, let's put some dots in. I don't know why I'm putting dots in. I just think I like it. Kids probably like it too. So, I'm a big kid at heart. Not. <laughs> yes, I am. Right, so there's our giraffe. There's our butterfly one, the small one. There's our Cheshire cat. And there's our spiny anteater or hedgehog, whatever they call them. So there you go. They're pretty simple. Just text paper pages from books. 
old books, a bit of paint, splash it on, and voila. And the only other thing we didn't do on this was our edging, was it? So we're going to do that now. I'm going to put my edging on. Because I think it makes a difference. It really does make a difference. And this is a beautiful teal colour one. Got my grandson this weekend. Now he's gone for his grandfather's come and picked him up. Took him out to the shops, he'll be returning soon. Uh, he's a little bit miserable because I think he's still teething. The kid has not stopped teasing, teething since four months old. He has not stopped teething. He's a beautiful boy. Okay, I think that's really good. There we go. So we edged it. This is our hedge, our ante, whatever it is. I'm even around the corners off on that, and I'm going to because I never machine sewed around it either. That one. There's our Cheshire. There's our beautiful butterfly with our label. And of course, our giraffe. So they were pretty simple to do for a quick journal, a, a child's journal. Um, and over the next week, next week, I am going to, or I might on the week, now I can't on the weekend, I've got my grandson and I'm very busy with him, he never lets you have a break, um, so I will get cracking on um, some of the ephemera and some of the stuff that I can get, and the book I'm going to use and some signatures as well. I've got to get organized. That. Let me just see if I can get this in properly. Because I do want to round those corners off. Okay. Okay, we did that. Good. I'm happy. Okay, so there we go. Simple project. Easy. Just a little bit of acrylic paint, water it down. A little bit of book pages, some pictures, and a stamp. And a label. And some sewing. So until I see you next time, bye for now. Take care, everyone.